Today we're talking Florida Keys and this awesome road trip experience that we had. We're packing a ton into our week, feeding tarpon, snorkeling, saying hi to some key deer, and of course, having some amazing food. This has been a destination that has been on our Florida list for forever since we moved here but the opportunity came up where a friend of ours needed a house sitter and a dog sitter for a little over a week we jumped on the opportunity and came down here yesterday but it was actually a pretty big storm as we were driving in Today, the sun is shining, it is hot, it is humid. We are staying on Big Pine Key, which is kind of in the middle, if I understand correctly, of the Florida Keys. From what we can see so far, it is beautiful and we are very excited to explore. First, we're making a detour to probably the quirkiest spot in the Keys. And it's hard to miss with the giant lobster outside. What's your best lobster impersonation? <laughs> What sound does a lobster make? <laughs> so this is Betsy, the lobster. She's 30 feet tall and 40 feet long and said to be the largest lobster sculpture in the world. But if the outside wasn't quirky enough, the inside as well. This place is a little intense. And no lie, I was tempted to buy these signs. Food ring. This place is kind of cool though. It doesn't look like much from the outside, but once you walk through, there's a whole little village back here and it got like these cardboard things put up on the walls. So it looks like it's just an old fishing village. Broke. <laughs> Puff of smoke. <laughs> like and subscribe so I can have more coins. <laughs> oh, did that just fall straight to the ground? Driving about another 10 minutes or so down the overseas highway, we ran into Florida Keys Brewing Company. Popped into Florida Keys Brewing Co. Kind of on a whim. It is very cute from the outside and it looks like what you would expect in the Keys, like bright colors, a lot of pastels. The inside is pretty small, but there's this huge outdoor area out back with a ton of seating, some lawn games, some coverage from the rain. So we got a flight of five beers that we are going to test out this afternoon. Guana Bait Honey Hibiscus Kolsch. Smelly butt pineapple. Honey bottomed blonde. Brando Pickly Pear and Hibiscus Sour. And a Key Lime Wheat. Thought you were gonna spit it back up. No. <laughs> Wanted to smell it, see if it smelled like smelly butt pineapple. Solid. Solid. I like blondes. <laughs> I like redheads. <laughs> Next, we're headed to a spot you definitely can't pass up on any Florida Keys road trip. We're at Robbie's, and this is probably the most touristy place on the Keys, but for good reason. This is where you can feed giant tarpons, and I don't know anywhere else you can do that. And it's pretty cheap, too. I think a bucket of fish costs like $5. Yeah, but this place is busy. 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 <laughs> Big boys. I don't know what I was expecting, but they are a lot bigger than I thought they were. For a moment, I thought this thing was gonna swallow my hand. Sorry. <laughs> That's terrifying. I don't want to do anymore. Oh Lord. <laughs> Isn't this scary? I didn't see that one coming. <laughs> <laughs> Which 
What did you think about the fish? Was it scary at all? Yeah, it was terrifying. Did you expect them to jump out? Yes, because I looked on the internet. <laughs> <laughs> also, we came here pretty late in the day, so like, if you want to come here, they open at 7. You can probably get here and feed the fish at around 7, 8 o'clock, and there'd be less people here. But it's kind of crazy that they just go through about a thousand pounds of fish just to feed the bigger fish. I'm gonna stand in the spotlight. They see me shine. You know it's all in the line. Let's start off right. In a search for lunch, we found Marada Bay Cafe on maps, and it looked pretty good. It's supposed to be have like really beautiful views. We pull in and there's no one in the parking lot, which could maybe be a good thing for us or maybe that's a bad thing. My grandma always said you don't want to go to the restaurant that no one is at because then there's probably a good reason that no one is there. But maybe this will be a hidden gem and a quiet little oasis with a great lunch and great views. Or if it sucks, Tony said that there is a Wendy's close by. There's more chickens here than people. There's absolutely no one here, not even employees. <laughs> don't know if they're open, but their hours say they are, so yeah. I don't know. It looks cute. It does look cute. But in the world of travel, back to the drawing board. The cafe was closed, I think. But at least the good news is Isla Morala Distilling is like three minutes up the road, so we're gonna eat here and get some beers. Also, I've been begging on trying not to say Isla Morada this whole video because I felt like I was gonna butcher it. <laughs> one of the most classic travel experiences that I hope we have a lot more of when we go abroad. The first place we wanted to go to for lunch was a ghost town. There was no one there. And so we were like, oh, there's a brewery close by. So we decided to go. And we met the coolest guy. He is a bartender there, his name's Blake. And talked to us for a long time. And we don't have the schedule for it, but time like flew. It's just like one of the great things about traveling and not fully sticking to your schedule because we never would have met Blake otherwise. It's a good thing that we ate after this tasting, but we didn't get drunk or anything. Lick a fool and out of my back. Oh my god, you dropped another. Oh my crap, did you check it? I swear. I don't understand why I don't like key lime pie because I love key lime pie flavored everything else. <laughs> so good. She asked me if I wanted a floater on top. I didn't know what a floater was, but I said yes because I'm that kind of gal. And it's just the liquor on top that floats. Yeah, I thought it would be a nip. <laughs> Absolutely named. Just like almost like in a club. Oh, yeah. yeah. I got the sandy berries. I keep calling it sandy beaches, but I cheated a little bit because I already took a sip, but this is good. Like, I should get a six pack of this when we get back. <laughs> oh, my lime! <laughs> Drinks aside, the food truck out back might be where it's at. Awesome. Thank you, man. That's the one. That's the one. That's the one. Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> Appreciate you. All right, so I haven't tried the food yet, but the burger looks bomb. But I got to say, man, like everyone here is super friendly. It's crazy. For food, we both got the wild style burger. Juicy, drippy cheese, the sauce. It's a big boy. I think it deserved to be said that before coming here, I was getting a little bit hangry. I was hungry, I was hot, there's a lot of people at Robbie's, but just being here, like talking to Blake for as long as we did and doing the distillery tasting and talking to the bartenders, I completely forgot about my hunger and it like changed my mood around. So if for nothing else, besides the incredible drinks and very, very good food, come for the staff, Come for the vibes, come for the ambiance, because this place has it all. We love this place so much, we forgot to tell you how much it costs. Our burgers and drinks cost us 60 bucks before tip. I don't know if it's the alcohol or the heat, but my heart rate's 133. Honestly, 
I don't think this was on our official list to go to. It was very happenstance and by coincidence. It was amazing. You have to add this place to your Florida Keys list. It's a really easy stop. If you are just going to Key West, make sure you stop here. Now that we've had our food, it's time to head to the Seven Mile Bridge. This is the Seven Mile Bridge and it's probably the most known and longest bridge in Keys. But what's really cool about this section of the bridge is you can actually walk across it now. I think like in 2022, they restored this section. So usually people will just kind of drive across the bridge like everyone else here. And you're like, oh, okay, it's just kind of cool to see the Seven Mile Bridge, you drive across it and that's that. Now, this section's open for you to explore. And of course it's starting to rain now, so I'm getting like raindrops on the camera, I'm getting a little wet, but uh, it's still really beautiful out here. Like look at that water, man, that is so blue. If anyone thinks this life is glamorous, this is a, a nice look at the reality. It's standing in the rain while your partner needs to film his uh, walking part eight times. Fun times in the rain. grabbing lunch at a place that was recommended by one of you guys. This is Key Fisheries and it's actually a really cool little spot. And here comes Tony with the food. Ta-da! We got like a, platter. a platter of a whole bunch of seafood, coconut shrimp, half shell lobster, uh, grilled shrimp, appetizers, conch fritters. I said it right this time. But here's what we found out. Like this place is supposed to be famous for what? Um, a lobster Reuben. We did not find out until we after did not we find out until after we ordered. <laughs> Maybe next time we'll get the lobster Reuben since it's supposed to be like award winning and famous. This end. I'm a little picky about my plantain, so that was past the test. What makes you picky about plantain? The texture has to be right. Like it can't be too mushy. It has to have like a little crisp on the outside, and it can't be like. I can't feel like the texture of a banana. It has to be like soft enough on the inside, but like a crispy exterior. Mmm, good. I don't know how I feel about the sauce, but the comforter is really good. How do you even eat this? <laughs> Our total was $70 before tip. It gets busy I feel like my opinion would change if it was packed because it is pretty small but it's really pretty and nice and quiet but that has to do with the lack of people probably, yeah sure. I like this beach yeah <laughs> In an effort to catch one of these famous Keys sunsets, we raced down to Big Pine Key to hop on a friend's boat. It's really cute. <laughs>
This morning we are at Bahia Honda State Park, which is just west of Marathon. The water temperature today, I just Googled it, is 90 degrees, which um, is not even refreshing at this point, but it's still a really beautiful park. It was $8 for both of us to get in, so two people, eight bucks. A nice little backdrop here. You get the old uh, seven mile bridge. I will say the beach is very small, so they open at eight. I would recommend getting here early-ish. We're here at 9.40 on a Sunday, so I could see if that this would like fill up quite a bit. how people do hikes in flip-flops and sandals because it's killing my big toes. And it's a little bit more uphill. And I'm out of shape. A few pounds of sweat later and we made it to the top of the bridge and it's a nice view. Can't lie, you can see the seven mile bridge right here. And you can see what I think is Loggerhead Beach over this side too. So this is about as far as you can go on the bridge. I feel like they restored a little bit of this part and the rest of it's still like the old historic part of the bridge. So for obvious reasons, you can't go any further than this, but still, what a view. We heard that Lou Key Reef was some of the best snorkeling in the Keys. So for $49 a person, we booked a charter through Captain Hook's and Big Pine Key. Best part about the Florida Keys is getting out on the water. So the weather conditions look pretty good today. So we're gonna venture out onto a little snorkeling excursion. Yeah, we actually wanted to get in some dives while we were here, but I have swimmers here. I'm actually a little bit prone to it, but that's a story for another day. By the way, Lynn was awesome. She let us in on some new information about the reef. I mean, just listen. Biscayne, which is just south of Miami, approximately 300 miles long. Within that system, we have tracks of barrier reef, just like, what is the biggest barrier reef in the world? Great, Great barrier. barrier Reef in Australia. So it's the same kind of formation that we have here in the Keys. We are actually the third largest system in the world, the second of which is also in the Americas. It's off the coast of Belize called the Mesoamerican system. Our reefs are suffering right now. Climate change is affecting the reefs. We see it right here in the Keys. You're going to go out there and you're going to be like, Lynn, what's a coral? They're those lumpy things that look like rocks that move really slow. Like if you're bad at catching a glimpse of a fish, Focus on the corals, <laughs> they don't go anywhere. Jellyfish. Does not feel good. But they said, oh. Down there by the diver? They look ridiculous. They said the best thing to do is to stay in the salt water. Don't rub it. And fresh water is not great either. So, I will stay here. That was the most uh, that we've seen, I feel like, snorkeling, except for the sea turtles in St. John. Snorkeler. What what happened to you? I got stung by a jellyfish. Oh, let's see it. It was rude. <laughs> oh yeah, getting nice and red. Be very careful. 
careful when we tie up. Everybody remain seated until I give the all clear. What you think? I'm tired. I am tired too. Captain Hooks, that whole team was great, especially if you are like a nervous snorkeler like myself. Hence the tube. And like Sarah said, we saw a lot on the reef. We saw a couple of parafish, a ton of yellowtail, barracuda swam by, and there was a goliath grouper under the boat. And Just, jellyfish. And jellyfish, because Sarah got stung. How's that feel? Fine. I don't feel it. Doesn't hurt? No. That's good. We stopped for lunch at Square Grouper in Cujo Key, but before we get to the food, let me just tell you how good these drinks were. Look at my martini! That's incredible. Wow. It's a key lime martini, and it just tastes like the good part of like a key lime pie. Some people would say the whole thing of the key lime pie is good, but it's like the crust, it's like the sweet crust, but like a hint of lime. It's it really good. Oh, and there's the vodka. <laughs> oh, that's kind of like what is it? A it's mule? Like kicking mule. Do you feel kicked? Yeah, a little kicked. Now for the best part, the food. We got the grouper sandwich and the flash fried conch. <laughs> really good. I thought it'd be in a shell still. That'd be cool. It is still chewy, but not as chewy as like the conch fritters. It's now a good time to admit I don't know what a conch looks like. It's the big things, right? Yeah. In the okay. It's like the big shell thing. It's like, it's got like all funky and like colorful yeah. big things. It's like yeah. Inside. It's just like a muscle looking thing. Yeah. Turns out I really don't know what they look like either. But here's a picture of one. I'm not too far off. Yeah. First bite, it kind of tastes like a fried chicken sandwich. Then you start tasting the grouper in it. Square Grouper ended up costing us $63 before tip. And Big Pine Key is known for one thing, and that's key deer. And the deer here are not shy. I mean, this guy is, or girl, I should say, is like right here. And she's not running away. She's actually come up to me a few times. Oh, there's more coming. And I think there's a baby over there, too. smell a skunk? No worries, it's me. Here I thought someone was smoking weed on the trail. We are at the blue hole and I imagine other times of the year it looks actually blue and not like this. Thoughts on the blue hole? Skip. <laughs> you can skip it. There's a turtle. Is it alive? Yeah, it's moving. If you're driving by and you happen to see it, you can stop and check it out. If not, totally worth skipping. I mean, you're going to see key deer anywhere you drive around here anyway, so. We are here at No Name Pub, and we're not sure why it's called No Name, so if you know, definitely leave a comment and let us know, but maybe we'll find out when we go inside. A little bit of a wait, it's like a 35 minute wait right now. From what I hear, this is definitely more of like a tourist location, which is fine, because we're tourists, and you all know that we still love going to those tourist locations. It smells really good from out here, and I am very hungry, so hopefully the taste does my stomach justice. <laughs> There's two areas for seating inside where all of the dollar bills are, or outside where it's a little quieter, but there is no AC.
Here, Sarah got a burger and I got their signature pizza. Very thick. Not bad. Tastes like a burger. These are good though. Like flat french fries. So I'm trying to eat this pizza and it's like, it's messy. It's a lot on it. It's called a. Uh, Royal. What it's called. Royal. It's called Royal. Basically, like a, like a supreme. And I can't even lift this right now. <laughs> Let's try this hot piece. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> How's that for a cheese pull? Our total at No Name came out to $70 before tip. So we are wrapping up our road trip uh, at the beach, clearly. So what were your thoughts on the road trip? Super fun. Each key was kind of a little different. I'll probably say this again in our other keys videos, but it's not like a place where you can do a lot of things for free. A lot of the keys is food, which we love. We're not making this as a budget video, mm -hmm. but we did try to stay within a budget. So Personal budget. Personal budget. Sorry? Personal budget. There are certain spots that we didn't get a chance to do. One of the things I really wanted to do is dive. dive in Key Largo at the, uh, what's the name of that, the park? Uh, John Pennant Camp, Pennant Camp. John Pennant Camp, Coral Camp. Reef Park. Fact check me on that, we'll probably just leave a graphic at the bottom of this. <laughs> Today we're in the Florida Keys, baby. We are, <laughs> we are here at No Name Pub. Um, Should we get what it's called? Yeah, <laughs> uh, hungry. So driving through Big Pine Key, we found this cool looking nature preserve right outside Big, Big Pine Key. <laughs> so what were your uh, what were your thoughts, Key? Oops, sorry. What were your thoughts? What, what video is this for? I don't know. 